Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Star Control 2. All right, let's go ahead and uh, head to uh, this world here. And it should be the uh, Zokfot Pick Home World. Look at all those ships. Converse! Ah, it is the alien from the Tengesu's Alliance. It is! Look at those weapon pods on his ship! Aren't they we nice? That during this visit, we can make clear to your species the benefits of a mutual assistance pact. But we're also armed to the teeth! So don't try stealing our atmosphere or anything sneaky like that. Damn it! You've, you've sussed me out. Um... So what's happening around here? We had a close call last week. One of those black ships was snooping around the system. But before it got to our world, some I reloaded? ships yes. warped in, destroyed the black vessel, and then left immediately. Well, that's we good. We got lucky! Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't check the other worlds. Uh, any news about the war between the two alien races? No, we have nothing new to report. Oh, nope, not a thing. I have traveled here to seek an alliance between our peoples. How wonderful. We accept. Thank you. Hooray! Excellent. How marvelous. I agree. Yeah. Captain, we are delighted that your people have made this choice. Ah, oh, so am now I. Now we won't get slaughtered. Maybe. In exchange for our cooperation helping you with captains and ship designs, all that we ask for is your protection. Okay. So we don't get slaughtered. Yep. We shall begin fulfilling our commitment at once. Thank you. We will transport officers and our stinger design. Yeah, to I don't think we need those too much. Why, heck? Maybe I'll even make the trip to your planet. Nah. Make a good starship, Captain. Captain. Nah, I don't think so. I'm pretty darn mean in a fight, and there ain't really? nobody better than me with a thrusty stinger tongue attack. Ew. I would like some specific information. Sure. What do you want to know? Which one Just do you use the thought? Just away. Uh, let's see. Yeah, does that guy in back ever say anything? Nope. Not a word. How, how, how do you communicate that? What do you know about other alien races? Not much, to tell the truth. This space exploration stuff is uh, kind of new to us. Really? Besides the green alien ship, which have only tried to kill us, uh -huh. and the black alien ship, uh -huh. which have actually been quite successful at killing us. Indeed. The only other starships we have encountered are strange tumbling red probes, which profess to be on a peaceful mission. But then attack like slavering the Brankies. We believe that the probes are actually robotic scouts, which have suffered some kind of malfunction resulting in their aberrant behavior. That's interesting. And what's worse, they are multiplying. The yes, green guy is the, the green guy there the is kind of smart. Seems to be replicating at a geometric rate. Yeah, that's what I our guy said. That means if there was only one last week, then next month. Uh, wait a minute. Let me calculate. Uh, Do you want some help there? Uh, that means next month there'll be a whole mess of those things. Yeah. Uh, tracing the probe's course path, we have been able to calculate that the source of the probes is somewhere on a direct line that includes our star and Epsilon Muske. Oh, get him, Captain! Mm. That green guy is really smart. Does a blue guy ever do anything good for your species? I imagine that the brown guy in back is probably their laborer or something like that. Maybe he's the smart one. He's just sitting there plotting against you. Tell me more about your people. Ah, cultural exchange. Indeed. A good idea. Yeah. I will send you some animals. Tell him about Frungi. Frungi? That's a serious question. Well, what is this Frungi? want to know about Frungi. Well, now I'm How curious. You know? What makes you so smart? You he's not you. You ask him if he wants to know about Frungi. Well, yeah, now I want to know about Frungi. I bet right now he's wondering, what is this wonderful sport, It's Frungi? a sport, huh? How is it Maybe played? I don't care anymore. What kind of equipment do you need to play Frungi? And I wonder who the head in the Frungi championships. Ah! Will you shut up about Frungi? If you say another word about that stupid game, I'm going to lose control and blow a cloud of spores at you. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Don't blow your sack. I won't mention Frungi again. I promise. Well, Captain, as you can probably see, the blue guy's crazy. predominant trait, yeah. its greatest strength and weakness, is the diverse interactions between Zot, Bot, and Pick. Frungi, Frungi, Frungi! I love these guys. And yes, remember, Frungi, the sport of kings! 
Can you describe your Stinger starship? The Stinger is the peak of our technological prowess. It's totally awesome! These vessels are cheap to build and can be quite effective in short-range combat. But that's they about turn it. on a, on a, well, a small round thing that's real small. So like Remember a Remember though, against most ships, the Stinger must close distance immediately and give unrelenting tongue attacks until either the enemy or the Stinger are destroyed. Yeah, I... the tonguing is the best part. Blue guy, keep away from me. What was your history like? Quite a broad topic for this short conversation. But I'll share a key piece of our history with you. That's After he killed off the last of Branky, we faced an interesting question. Should we proceed and establish a culture which would advance in art, technology, and social sophistication? Or should we just go back into the forest and kick back and enjoy ourselves, knowing that as a Branky wasn't going to jump out of the bush and eat us? Well, we did go back into the forest. We stayed there for about 5,000 years and had a great time. Then, one stormy day, a zock, a fox, and a pig were walking up a steep path looking for something good to eat when a bolt of lightning struck nearby. With a huge flash of light, the bolt of energy carved a strangely shaped chunk of granite out of a cliff. It was a disc with a hole in the middle. As the rock began to roll down the hill, Toward the three terrified beings, some dry grass got caught in its hole. And since the rock was still hot, the grass caught on fire. When the rock finally got to the dock, the fox, and the pet, they simultaneously discovered the wheel, fire, and religion, thus catapulting them on the road of progress. Which has led us to this day, Captain. Oh, how did the flaming wheel give religion to our culture, you Let me guess. Oh, I God, explain. don't let it crush see, me. When it got to the threesome, the flaming wheel was going at a pretty good clip, and it ran smack into the rock, killing him. The spot and the pit felt so bad. They really liked that sock. That they decided the sock hadn't really died when the wheel flattened him. He had just gone to a better place. Presumably one without lethal flaming wheels. Or Zabrankis. Ah, uh, that's enough for now, thanks. That, that that almost seems contrived, but okay. Anything else? Bye, Zuck. Bye, Fot. Bye, Pick. Goodbye, Captain. See ya! Don't you mention Frungy again, either. Okay, so now we've, uh... made an alliance with the Zuck, the Fot, and the Pick. Amongst my favorites in the game. Uh... Let's see. Was it... What's another place? Uh... To mine. This place. I'll go ahead and leave them here. Did I get everything? Yeah, I think so. That's the closest world. Are there just um Yeah, okay, I visited those other worlds. Okay. Please don't kill me, whatever is out there. I I mean I mean none of you harm. I don't know if those, if any of those would be Zok, Fot, and Pick, since uh, they've lost all their uh, colony worlds. All right. Well, um, oh nope, nope, don't want to leave. Let's see what we have here. This is a gas giant. Anything good to mine? Yeah, oh, that's actually cold. Class 2 weather, class 2 tectonics. That actually is pretty good. Um, I guess we'll, we'll do this. If we need to, we can dump all... We can space some junk. Actually, I should probably save the game first. Eh, I'll just dispatch them. And I just completely missed the 20 uranium. 23 uranium. Wow, let's... Let's go get some of this stuff first. Alright. Actually, I probably could have gotten that little bit of uh, corrosives instead. We'll go get this, and then uh, go after the other... Uh, yes. Precious. And... There's some more precious materials down here. A 
looks smaller. 13 silver, okay. To uranium, always good. Now this is just going to be base metals that we get for remote for the most part, and then that corrosive. So I might as well pick them up. Uh, again, if I run out of space, 24 iron, 24 copper, two iron. This will be the last trip, so whatever I get on this will be it. Probably means I won't get the corrosives. That's fine by me. Corrosives are terrible. Iron, vanadium, 14 iron. Yep, that's about it. Okay. What do we have on this purple world? Eh, it looks like just junk, and it's class 5 tectonics, so let's leave that. Let's visit this little purple world here. What do we have? Eh, not much. No biologicals. Screw that. Not worth it. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Is... Is that a world down here? Yes, it is. What do we have? Noble world? Yes, indeed. All right. Oh, that's good. That looks good. Oh, that's just the crap, anyway. Helium. Neon. Xenon. Do we have a small thing of it anywhere? Oh, I guess they're all kind of small. There we go. Alright, another trip back down. Probably not going to have enough space to get the others. Uh, it's probably worth getting the last two, though. Yeah, I think that's about it. Alright. Alright, let's see what else we have over here. Ah, good. Didn't have to, uh, aim for the world. Ooh, Ruby World. Class 1 tectonics? Oh, look at all of that. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that giant 23 Zo crystals. Let's get that one, 25, and that is enough. Let's go down again, get some more. Go neutronium, and 19, there we go. Might need two more trips to get all this. Eighteen, seventeen, and fifteen. That should be it. 
Hmm. I hope we can do all this in one trip. Without wasting any. 19? Nope, I don't think so. Nope. Well, we got enough fuel. We only need 10 to get home, so... A little bit over 10. There we go. Oh, that's great. Alright, well, I guess we'll go to that blue one, which I wasn't aiming for. I was trying to go for the other, the red one. But, uh, whatever. Uh, ooh, Class 8 weather. Yeah, let's pass up on this one. Super dense world. That has some uh, pretty uh, fantastic weather and tectonics as well, so we're going to pass on that. And you don't have much good. You do have uh, biologicals, but class 6 weather and tectonics. Yeah. We shall pass. All right. All right, we will go out and, uh, I suppose we could go up here and visit these worlds. See what we have. Class 3 weather and class 1 tectonics. Um, we've got some biologicals and uh, noble gases, so let's go ahead and save the game. And hit the wrong option. Let's go for that. Ah. giant blue slug here. Okay. We're out of cargo space, so let's uh, go back again. Rare Earth. Ow! Ow! Shoot. That's enough. We lost a lot of guys on that one. But, uh, we got some reasonable uh, materials out of it. We are going to need a lot more people. Hmm. Alright, what's here? Infrared world. Nothing good here, I don't think. Nope. What's the main world? Probably nothing good. Nah, it doesn't look good. Magnetic world. Ooh, oh. Class 7 tectonics, though. Alright, that would be worthwhile. <laughs> nice. That was totally worth it. All right, let's visit this that giant. All right, let's see what these uh, 
two moons are. Anything good? Super dense world? Probably not. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Nope. How about here? Pellucid world. No minerals at all. Lots of biologicals. 9 degrees Celsius. Let's go ahead and save the game. Weather isn't too bad. Tecton Tectonics aren't too bad. some more uh, biological data. Alright. I'm not sure what the number of people you need to lose is before they start charging you more, but we are going to need to fix that. There is, there is a way to fix it, and we will do that. Ah, uh, eventually. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that either. Alright, well, we'll go to this world. And st no, we've been to this world. Dang it. There we go. That's what I wanted to go to. Dust world. Nothing good. Not even biologicals. Alright. I think there's one other world all the way over on the other side. No, nope, I didn't want to visit you. Maybe not. Yes, there is. Okay. Did we visit this one? Oh, there's one here, too. Uh, purple world with nothing there. I think we might have visited these. But I'll double check anyway. Yeah, these look familiar. Double check. Yep. All right. So what we're going to do now is leave and under manifest devices quasi portal Whee! all right now the quickest way to get home is no not that one Is that one? Yes. Alright. There we go. We'll get home. And then we can go get all the Melnorme credits we could ever want. Star map. Where exactly are we? Oh, the Pekunk are moving. That's interesting. Alright, so we always need about 16 fuel when uh, um, heading home, because that's about how much it'll cost us to do that. Hmm. Oh, Commander, I'm back, and I'm totally missing Earth. There we go. 
Hello, Captain. There's Hello. something I think you should know. Okay. It would appear your diplomatic efforts have struck gold, Sweet. Captain. We've been contacted by a race called the Zok Fot Pik, who wish to fulfill their races. part of the unification, something you have arranged with them, I gather. Yep. They have sent us specifications for the Stinger-class attack vessels, as well as a large number of Zokfot Pick commanding officers. You're doing a fine job, Captain. Also, good news, Captain. Okay. With no announcement, a small fleet of Ari Lu Lalile popped into space adjacent to our star base, scaring the hell out of the deep raider operator. But right now, I could kiss every one of those Don't do that, little please. weirdos because they gave us three skip vessels. Oh, hey. Also... We've detected Ooh, hey, a minute but thing. measurable disturbance in the inner space fabric huh. at approximate true space coordinate 100 by 50. Our scientists speculate that this disturbance may be caused by many thousands of hyperwarp penetrations, all in phase, as though a huge fleet of ships hmm. were on the move. All right. Um, can your scientists analyze what I've acquired since my last visit? The analysis reads as follows. Subject, quasi-space portal spawner. Data, device is a hybrid of different alien technologies, including Ari Lu and Urquan elements. Our yeah, tests show that. that this device temporarily creates a weakness in the fabric between hyperspace and a different unidentified dimension. The energy cost for this process is extreme, and since the unit's power supply is self-contained, we cannot estimate how long it will remain functional. Hmm. Summary? Use of this device will permit a starship to make transit to a different dimension. The hazards and benefits of this process are impossible to gauge without field study. That's the end of our scientist's report. Okay, thank you. I have some minerals to offload. Let's get some more uh, resource units. Out. Ooh. Captain, you are to be commended. Keep thank up you. the good work. I am always happy to get uh, um, commendations. All right. Goodbye, Captain. So, let's go ahead, outfit starship, uh, I need, let's see, how much fuel am I going to need? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and sell that, I don't need that. Um... Go ahead and get a, another crew pod, and... Let's get some more fuel tanks. I'm going to use those. Alright, and... I'm trying to think if I need anything specific in either of these slots. Got a lot of, cr lot of. Uh... Well, let's let's go ahead and uh, uh, max out our fuel. So we're gonna try to do this all in one go. I might get another fuel pod just to be on the safe side. I've got a lot of RUs, so... I have a lot of fuel as well. Okay. So we're maxed out on fuel. Uh, let's actually get another planetary... Let's get a couple more planetary landers just to be on the safe side. Um... I suppose I could get another, uh... 
fuel tank for now. I mean, I'll eventually be selling these off once I'm uh, uh, done. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll get another one. And I'll uh, get another hundred fuel. That should give me plenty to spare. Lots of uh, uh, fuel now. Plenty to uh, do what I need to do. Let's go to the shipyard. Um, let's go ahead and get more crew. Okay. Get another Kunk Fury. Yeah, the Zogfot Stinger, 600, but it, all of its weapons are very short range. It, it's it's really not worth it, I don't think. Get another Spothy, and I think I'll get another Human Cruiser as well. So, what we're going to be doing next is, uh, um, we could get all the way up here and back now. That's, that's pretty crazy. It would cost 118 fuel to go all the way up there and back, but it's not what we're going to be doing just yet. Uh, instead, we are going to be using the, uh, um, uh, portal spawner, and we are going to visit all the rainbow worlds. So, we'll do that in the next episode. See you then!